Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number eight, Hobby Edition. We have a choice. We have choice edition here too, which just needs one filler to get knocked out, and I think that's pretty close. So we can run back another Bowman Chrome break tonight on Saturday, the 26th. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. David closed the breakout with the Diamondbacks. There's everybody else. Thanks everyone for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Good luck. Actually, let's open this case up first. some of these boxes out of the way over here. You can see on the uh, on the top camera the boxes over there too. I just need to make myself a little bit of room. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Baseball playoffs about to start, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty exciting. Bubble baseball. That's gonna, that's gonna be interesting. Baseball in a few different locations. The World Series is gonna be in Texas. It's gonna be in, in the uh, new baseball stadium in Arlington. That's gonna be interesting. Who does, who does that benefit? I mean, does that neutralize everybody? You don't get home. You really don't get home field advantage. I guess you get get to bat in the bottom of the frame, but you really don't get that advantage. Crowds obviously not there. Maybe players are used to that by now. Exactly, Patrick K. <clears throat> he's asking. That's that's what I was kind of getting to. What do you think is going to make a surprise run in the playoffs? He's asking. See, and that's where I, where I was kind of leading towards. Bubble basketball, I mean, my Lakers are about to start soon, so we can chat a little basketball too, but bubble, bubble basketball has yielded some interesting results. You know, will bubble baseball, you know, yield the same kind of thing? Who could make a surprise run? <clears throat> White Sox, maybe? Young think th we're, let's got, we got to think young teams who won't be affected by by opposing crowds. Padres, White Sox, Marlins, Blue Jays. There's Brady Whalen autograph for. The Cardinals. Put this list back up here now. And so that will go to EA and the Redbirds. Here in Hobby, pick your team number eight. Yeah, so maybe it is. Obviously, I'm a Dodgers guy. I want my Dodgers to go, go win the whole thing, you know. And there's there's certainly, you know, the the favorites to do so. But outside of those, outside of the favorites, which I think Yankees, Dodgers, right? But outside of the favorites, could be the young the young teams that aren't affected by travel. <clears throat> and aren't affected by uh, nice Kyle Lewis refractor. Not affected by travel, not affected by opposing fans. That's what I was trying to spit out. All right. Nice Kyle Lewis. That's for the M's. That'll be for Kyle Olsen with Kyle Lewis. And there's a hit right here. There's Dylan File. 
007 to 150. Greg Davis with the Brew Crew. What do you think, Patrick? You think you think there's gonna be some surprises? It's Gavin Lux, rookie for the Dodgers. Nick Poba. Another uh, Kyle Lewis, non-refractor for the M's. That must be a variation, right? Because that the other Kyle Lewis, he's he's out in the outfield fielding, and here he is batting right here. Brendan Shoemake to 499 right here, and Hall, a uh, farm to fame, Raleigh Fingers. No mustache there. Must have came on later. Josh with the Braves on that refractor. Next box. Do I think the Do uh, they usually match with the Giants for Dodgers in the. What do I think about the ma that matchup? I think that I think that should be a great first. For I mean, it's rivals, Dodgers Giants, big rivalry. I don't know when the last time they face each other in the playoffs. So I think I mean I think the Dodgers are going to win, but I don't think they should have too many problems with the Giants. But I think it'll be pretty intense though. I don't even remember. Have they even faced it? When's the last time they not not this? Giants Dodgers playoffs. Like when the Giants were rolling, the Dodgers weren't very good. The Dodgers have been really good the last ten years, and and then at the same, the Giants weren't very good. So I don't think there was a, there was too much cause for them to 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 meet each other in the playoffs or even even battle each other for the division. So that should be a pretty fun uh, NL wild card set. Should be pretty intense. That first round, I think there could, could be weird. Because there, there's only, what, three games, right? It's only a three-game series? There's really, there's really no room for error in a short series like that. Favorites could get bounced pretty easily. Any guesses on this redemption, folks, for bragging rights? Chris Bryant hit a grand slam today. We got a Seth Corey blue to 150. Yeah, that's going to be a great series. I'm not really worried about the Giants, but if the Dodgers play the Padres, speaking of the Giants, there's Mark Mark Bissett with the Giants. There's a Luis Robert rookie card and a Francisco Alvarez Mets auto for EA. EA Sports is in the game. Both of his teams hitting so far. At least one. Here in Pick Your Team 8. Josh Yost, White Sox. Jeremiah Jackson, Purple Shimmer. Yeah, Dodgers Padres. If the Padres, Dodgers get by the Giants, Padres get by the Cardinals, which I think is what the matchup's going to be. If they can do that, then it would be Dodgers and Padres in the NLDS. And I think that... Ooh, nice Luis Robert refractor. That's going to be really intense because the Padres have been playing the Dodgers really well in more in in, in the recent games. Nice Luis Robert refractor, one seventy to four ninety nine. Another one for the White Sox, Josh Yost. All right, no one's guessing the redemption, huh? You are due to receive a twenty nineteen AFL Arizona Fall League Fall Stars relic autograph parallel. 
They have the teams here now, which I like. B, Baltimore, Boston. Looks like Boston. Boston, it's Jaron Duran Duran. Nice one for the Red Sox. Get a free top loader too, Mark Bissett and the Red Sox. All right, another box here. Patrick saying, problem, only problem with your Braves is they're starting pitching. But yeah, Max Fried has looked good. Anderson's been a nice surprise to being, since being called up. Who went, who went down with the Achilles? Was it Soroka? I feel like he was pitching really well. And then got hit with that, that unfortunate in, in injury. Yeah, Soroka, right? Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, don't don't sleep on the Braves. Freddie Freeman's having an MVP style season, you know. Ronald Acuna Jr., Ozzy Alves, young active guys, solid starting pitching. Uh, you know, Freed has looked good. Anderson's looked good. Just gotta get a couple other guys to step up. They're the two seed. Two seed for a reason. Reds are kind of scary, though. I mean, if I mean in a three-game series, they're 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 probably rolling out Luis Castillo and Sonny Gray, right? Sonny Gray looked good in a start or two after his his IL stint, so that could be could be scary. We got Eric Pena, two out of fifty. Nice autograph and parallel for Balraj with the Royals. Zach Gallon to 99. Red uh, Diamondbacks, that is, David. Nice Jason Dominguez as well. I think he, those don't go as crazy as his first cards, but still nice. There's Aaron Judge to 499. Josh Ray with the Yankees. Healthy Yankees. Healthy Yankees could be scary. Max Lazar, Brew Crew, or Laser. That'll be for Greg Davis and the Brewers. Esteban Floreal, Gold Shimmer, 11 out of 50. Yankees, Josh. Justin Verlander, 250. All right, next box. Next box here in 12 box hobby, pick your team number eight, 2020 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Choice Baseball is just a filler box away from unlocking. We can do another 12 box of this. 
but Choice Edition, HTA Choice, which is only like three or four autographs a box. That's it. Just three cards, and they're all autos. Four? Four cards? Three cards. It's been a minute since we've done that. <laughs> Let's make that happen. Break some baseball, watch some basketball, talk some football. All right, there's uh, Tanaj Thomas. That'll be for the Pirates, Greg Davis with the Buckos. We got Francisco Alvarez. For the Mets, Purple Shimmer, Trent Grisham, Luis Robert, Jacob DeGrom. All sorts of fun things happening here. So Jacob DeGrom to 499 will go to the Mets. That'll be for EA. Luis Robert, a hot commodity. Josh Yost with the White Sox. People really liking Trent Grisham's game too. With the Padres, Nick Coba. Dodgers, Dodgers run into the Padres. That could be a fun matchup. To 499, Zach Watson, Orioles, Greg Davis with the O's. That's refractor autograph. Yusai Kikuchi to 150. Mariners, Kyle Olsen. All right, next box. Uh, what teams are you disappointed are not in the playoffs? In the AL, it was Seattle, the Mariners, Angels, Royals, Orioles, Tigers, Red Sox, and Rangers. I guess it's kind of disappointed the Angels aren't in. You can't see Mike Trout in the playoffs for another season. I thought the Mariners were going to do it for a second. The Mariners kind of have a fun young team there. I do like that the Blue Jays aren't in. In the NL, I, I, the Phillies are kind of, if, they, if the Phillies, I think they still have a chance. The Phillies miss out, that's a little disappointing. And all, the, all, the, all the resources they've been, they've been spending and the, the team that they have out there. Brewers has got to be a little disappointing for if they miss out. It's got to be disappointing. I thought the Mets would be better. I think Rockies have to seriously think about about how they're what they're going to do with their team on paper especially with that offense they've got a good looking team but I don't know it's just not clicking it's not all coming together Na National is a lot of injuries right I guess maybe World Series hangover there's Seth uh, Gray to 499 What's a disappointing team for you lot? Teams that you maybe thought were going to make the playoffs or should have looked better, just didn't make it, fell short, disappointing season. It's Corbin Carroll. Corbin Carroll will go to uh, the Diamondbacks, David. That's out of 150. Sam Huff in that atomic parallel. That'll go to the Rangers. Mike. That one. 95 out of 150. 
hard hit percentage. And there's Andrew Dahlquist for the White Sox. That'll be for Josh Yost and the White Sox. Corey Lee to 499. Astros. Raymond. Another Luis Robert rookie card. Paul thinks the Royals should have, should have, would have had a better year. And we've got Ethan Linlow to 25. Nice orange right there. Yeah, I think, uh... I think the Royals definitely are rebuilding. Definitely rebuilding, but yeah, they do got a lot of good youngsters in the pipeline. Seems like a pretty smarter organization. I feel like they'll be able to do that. Bobby Wood Jr. I think that that's where that's what you're building the team around. You're kind of kind of slowly getting to the point where you can start to have some youngsters come up around the same time. It's Bobby Wood Jr. I feel like the Royals will spend a little money too if they have to. They might be able to to add on the uh, free agent market too if they had to. Royals going forward, I think, will be an interesting team to to watch. Yeah, we've got plenty of baseball in the store, folks. If you want to do more uh, Bowman Chrome, HTA Choice, we got, we're got one blaster box away from knocking that out. If you want to do uh, some Chronicles baseball, I think we're just one blaster box from knocking that out. Yeah, and Ethan, I was surprised that we didn't we didn't get in, into any no huddle so far today. I thought I thought those would be one of the first breaks we'd be doing during the day, but, but no. But those are really close. I think there's only a few teams... A few teams left in uh, each mosaic no huddle that we have left. We can definitely do that. All that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com, folks. I haven't gone through any... I think when I started the break about 20 minutes ago, there wasn't anything sold out. And we only have three orders in right now, ladies and gentlemen. So I know we got a lot of things going on, on in the sports world. There's Aristides Aquino. Nice one for Matthew Shearer and the Reds. But let's get some uh, let's get some breaks going early and often. Remember, there's no no late night tonight. Nice one. Jason Dominguez, purple shimmer. And we got a nice Trey Harris Braves. Arizona Fall League Relic, and I love the hologram sticker in there, too. When you get this, uh, Braves, Josh, when you get this, you can go to MLB.com slash authentication, look up, that, look up the number on the sticker, and be able to tell exactly what date that relic came from. Maybe look up, if Arizona Fall League has, has those box scores, you can look those up, too. Nice Jason Dominguez for the Yankees, a Bo Bichette. For the Blue Jays, Zach. Michael Bush to 99. And we've got uh, Takupita Marcano for Nick Coba and the Padres. And Nick Koba has the Dodgers as well. They can see each other in the playoffs. Dustin May might be a key player in the playoffs. Jake 
Tristan Casas to 250. And we are halfway through this full case break. We've got about another 20 minutes to go. Here in Picker Team 8. Box. All right, good luck, folks. Here we go. We got a we got a Yankee here. We got Oswald Barraza to four ninety nine. Yankees, Josh with the Yanks. Got Wander Franco. He's gonna be, should be a big name in the next next year or two. I got Noah Song to 150 Red Sox, and we got Randy Florentino for the Rangers. That's gonna be for Mike Mike M. Noah Song goes to the Red Sox, Mark Bissett. Kyle, this is your first playoff experience, and now one game away from your first NBA Finals experience. Just what's it like going into this opportunity? Uh, big opportunity. Um, all we got to really do is just focus on what we can control, go out there, play hard, pass on. It's Gavin Lux, another Kyle Lewis, Jared Kalanick, his future teammate right there. So that goes to the Mariners along with this uh, Kyle Lewis for Kyle Olson. All of these, of course, add up. He, could he win Rookie of the Year? Kyle Kuzma? I would like you to get 15, 20 points today would be nice. Make this, make this win stress free. His ankle looks fine. He seems to be bouncing around, looking spry. We got Oswald Peraza again for the Yankees. Josh. Games 
Jesus Sanchez for the fish. That'll be for Raymond. Tristan McKenzie to 499 for Cleveland. And we got Graham Stinson. 71 out of 150. That'll be for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Joe Downing. There you go, Joe. We have Bruce Star Greater All to 50. Dodgers edition that goes to uh, Nick Coba. Dalton Jeffries to 250. A's, Robert. Christian, I think he, I think Ethan already did his part. He already did. I see an order for for him right there. He's trying to convince other people to join him in the break. Maybe you, Christian James. I don't see your name in my order list yet, unless you placed it a while ago. Another Yankee autograph, Chris Gittens. That goes to the Yankees, Josh. Nah? All right, well, you can hush that. <laughs> All right, there's Keegan Aiken. That goes to the O's, Greg Davis. Tristan McKenzie to 250, Cleveland. That'll be for Robert G. and the Tribe. And we got a Chandler Redmond for the Red Birds. That's going to be for EA and the Cardinals. Goldschmidt to 499. Will be for EA and the Cardinals. Dustin May for the Dodgers. Nick Koba going to need Dustin May in the playoffs. Dodgers pitching, starting pitching, believe it or not, going into the playoffs, not as not as strong as I'd like it to be. Kershaw struggled a little bit in his last start. He's not getting any younger. Walker Buehler only made one start coming out the IL after a blister issue. Great, great start, but, but only just came off the IL. So we need guys like Dustin May and Tony Gonsolin and Julio Urias to really step up.
bullpen has been pretty great, though. When's the next waterfall or synchronized swimming break? Next summer. Next summer. We'll see you then, Christian James. All right, next box. Good luck. There's Jonathan Stiver, 36 out of 499, refractor autograph for the White Sox, Josh Yost. Jay Groom, 12 out of 50, gold shimmer for the Red Sox, Mark. Jose Abreu to 49. Is he, is he gonna, he's going to get MVP votes, right, in the AL? He's been pretty good. And there's Carl Kaufman for the Colorado Rockies. Greg Davis with the Rocks. Austin Meadows to 25. And that's Dodgers edition of Pedro Martinez. Man, they should, ne they should have never traded him. Oh, man. Sir Charles, Charles Barkley just guaranteed the Cleveland Browns to beat the Washington football team. And you know when Sir Charles guarantees things. That usually goes sideways. He also guaranteed that the Lakers would close it out tonight. I'm nervous about that. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, you have to be you have to be 18 or older to purchase. Sorry, kid. Jimmy, you were super high on Urias for like three years. You kept drafting your dynasty league. Yeah, I, th I think patience is getting thin. I think that's what the Dodgers are feeling too. I think the Dodgers really thought that this year would be the year that he really breaks out. But hasn't I don't, I don't think he's been as quite as dominant as we had hoped he would be, especially after all that all that hype. He's had a lot of issues with. With the first inning, like guys, I don't know what it is, but but teams would go off on him, pop off on him in the first inning, and then innings two through five, two through six, he'd be great. Like his, like I don't know how you would calculate these stats, like maybe by hand, or if there's a website that'll do it for you. But take out his first inning in in, in, in a lot of his starts this year, and his numbers would be really great. There's David Mann with the Dodgers. Yeah, and the stuff is great too. When the stuff is sharp, if you watch him pitch, when the stuff is sharp, it's really good. So I don't know what it is with that first inning there. Nick Cove with the Dodgers. In recent, I think in recent games, they've experimented with, I think they did an opener game. I think they had Joe Kelly and maybe Bruce Star Greater all in the first inning or two. And then they had Urias come in at the third inning. And he looked great. So I don't know, maybe they gotta fiddle around with that for now, but there's Ryan Vallad, purple shimmer. So I don't know, maybe, maybe he's gotta marinate a little bit more. But it's 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 getting to a point where, uh, I mean, next year is gonna be a big year for him. I, yeah, I think he might be older than that. <laughs> Yeah, he's 24. He's not 21. I did that same thing earlier this season. 
I was like, well, he's only like 20 or 21. He'll figure it out. There's time. No, he's 24 now. He just turned 24 in August. There's Shane Boz to 499. And there's Eric Pena. Ah, I know. The, 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 the few years slipped by really, really quickly. That's enough of him. That's annoying. Uh, Balraj with the Royals. Anthony K to 250, Blue Jays. Justin Dunn to 499. But yeah, Julio Urias is 24 now, which kind of surprised me too when I looked at his age earlier this year. He's got to he's got to make he's he's got to start being a little more dominant. I mean, he's supposed to be a top prospect. I think the expectations were definitely, you know, a number two starter. Or an extremely solid number three starter. He's just, uh, he's just, sometimes he shows that, sometimes he doesn't. He should be a top of the rotation guy. But I think this year, you hear the, you hear Dave Roberts talk about him in, after, after his starts. It's no, the, the, the vocabulary he's using, the words he's using are a lot different. You know, you can hear that the Dodgers are not, not necessarily frustrated, but I think they're definitely raising the bar on him now. He's healthy. I think that was an issue last year or two, some health issues. And so I think they maybe didn't, didn't really, like, you know, he was on pitch counts and innings limits and stuff like that coming back from injury, so they were definitely very careful with him. But I think now he's coming into a season – for the first time in a long time, coming into a season without an injury or without recovering from an injury, I think. So I think the bar has been set a little bit higher. So I think you can start hearing the Dodgers organization just start to set those expectations a little bit higher. And maybe that's something that Julio Urias is trying to, trying to figure out. It'll click at some point, though. All right, last box here in Pick Your Team number 8, 2020, Bowman Chrome Baseball. I think I'm going to take a little dinner break after this. I don't think anything else is sold out. I'm going to watch my Lakers for a little bit and then come back and we'll see if we can knock out some breaks. Nothing is sold out at the moment. No. Stuff's close, though. So, yeah. So, maybe by the time I come back from my break, we'll have uh, we'll have a couple things sold out and ready to go. Oh, this is great. Luis Angel Acuna. That's a big hit right there for Mike. It's the one he was probably waiting for. That's that's Ronald Acuna's brother. And with how great Ronald Acuna is, you know, if he's just even if he's just half as good as his brother, he'd be really really good. There's Jay Groom, Red Sox, Mark. Adonis Medina to 250, purple for the Phillies. That'll be for Raymond. And Junior Santos, 209 out of 250. Great autograph. Look at that. Man. A lot of gusto in that autograph. That goes to EA and the Metropolitans. Bryce Harper to 499. That'll be for the Phillies, Raymond, along with his teammate, Medina, 250. And some red? Yeah. And we're going to close the breakout with a train whistle. Quinn Priester, three out of five, red parallel, going to Greg Davis and the Pirates.
all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me. Let's uh, let's give away a box. So right here, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. And uh, you'll get a shot at a uh, Bowman Chrome box, which we'll send to you probably in a separate shipment from your hits, from your cards. But we'll send it to you sealed. All right, so EA got two teams. That's an entry. Greg, maybe chasing that box, right? You got an... He's got eight. So that's four entries. Josh got two teams. That's an entry. Kyle got two teams. That's an entry. So did Mark. Nick Koba did as well. Raymond got three. Two teams count. That's still an entry. And Robert G got an entry. Check, I got everybody here. All right, excellent. All right, so there's 11 spots there. Let's pop it into this fresh list here. Name on top after 10. Five and a five, hard 10. We'll get the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10th and final time. Congrats to Raymond Hill. I don't know if I called your name out too often in this break, Raymond. Maybe some parallels. He had the Astros and Phillies. Maybe some parallels. But, but I don't think I called your name too often. But a box of Bowman Chrome Baseball, 2020 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition going your way. You can rip it. You can sell it. If you do choose to rip it and you get something cool, let us know. There is the train whistle. Here's a quick little recap here. The Luis Angel Acuna. Some nice stuff. Kyle Lewis's Luis Roberts. A lot of Yankees. Aristides Aquino. And a lot of, uh, hopefully, up-and-coming stars, future stars here is what we're, what we're pulling for you. And that Kyle Lewis variation as well. We start off with Brady Whalen. There you have it, boys and girls. That was, what was this, Pick Your Team number 8, 12-box, Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.